this is a supplementary video, a supplemental video on uh, fundamental counting theorem. Um, I'm going to place this before uh, the first uh, check for understanding on counting principle. So if an event has n possible outcomes and another independent event has n possible outcomes, then there are m times n possible outcomes for the two events together. Uh, this can be extended to more than two events. So if three events can occur m, n, and p ways, then the number of ways all three events can occur is m times n times p. For examples, for ex a college interview, Robert has to choose what to wear from the following. Four slacks, three shirts, two shoes, and five ties. That should say two pair of shoes. So not just two shoes. So how many possible outfits does he have to choose from? Well, I'm just going to multiply these together here. So four times three times two pair of shoes times five ties. And this would be 12 times 10. So it equals 120. <coughs> the standard uh, con uh, the standard configuration for a, a Texas license plate is one letter, followed by two digits, followed by three numbers. How many different license plates are possible if leather, leather, letters and digits can be repeated? So if letters and digits can be repeated, so one letter. That's 26 letters in the alphabet. And then followed by two digits, 0 through 9. So that's 10. And then 10 again. Followed by three letters. So 26 times 26 times 26 is going to be a big number here. So you want to take your calculator and do 26 to the fourth times 100. So going to the Desmos calculator. Let me clear these off here. I need to clear them all, but so let's take some of these off here. Mm. All right, so now I can see up at the top here. So 26 to the fourth. Times 100. And there's my answer, four, five, six, nine, seven, six hundred. Four, five, six, nine, seven. Four, five, six, nine, seven. Six hundred. So if the digits, if the letters and digits cannot be repeated, then uh, you have 26 letters in the first position and 10. And then since you can't repeat a number, there'd only be nine numbers available. And then 25 letters. 24 and then 23. So a lot less uh, possibilities if uh, you can't repeat things. So, 
So 26 times 10 times 9 times 25 times 24 times 23. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so that answer, 32,292,000. So thirty-two million. Pen stop working here. Thirty-two million two hundred ninety-two thousand. All right, I'm going to skip this uh, bottom part of this page here. Just go over permutation and combinations together, and then I just want to show you the top of this next page here. Just to let you know what a factorial is. So if you see a number with what looks like an exclamation point next to it, it equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to times 1. So in other words, for factorial here is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 factorial is equal to 12 times 2, which is 24. 3 factorial equals 3 times 2 times 1, which would be 6. And then 6 factorial, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So this is 30 times 4, 120. 360 times 2, 720. And just to show you how to do it on the calculator. So you take you, on the decimals calculator, you do 6. And I think this is a little strange, but you go to the ABC, find the exclamation point. And here's your answer 6 factorial is equal to 720, like I on the slide there so let me write that three factorial is equal to six six factorial equals 720 and then five factorial over three factorial would be five times four times three times two times one over three times two times one so this is something important to know in this part of the unit or this week's work because you need to use factorial. So this would be equal 20 here. And also, once again, going to the calculator. If I go to the calculator, then I could actually put this five factorial divided by three factorial on the calculator. So here's the calculator again, five and then factorial. And then going back to divide and then three factorial. And here's my answer 20. And it matches what I did here. <coughs> All right, and then the one more page on counting principle. Let's go to page 17 here. So I'll use the fundamental counting principle to determine the number of possible outcomes. So 19 to 26 here. Uh, number 19. 
The star can land on either red or blue. You spin five times and then roll a six-sided dice. So you have two times two times two. And then a six-sided sided dice has six outcomes. So to the fifth times six is 32 times six would be 192. Let me just show that on the calculator. So two to the sixth and then times six. Whoop, I think it's two to the fifth. Let me make sure, sure, because I do the fifth times six. This should be a five here. There, 192. Like I said before, if put the right exponent in there, two to the fifth times six is 192. And then number 20, a softball player uh, bats five times in a game. Each head bat results in an out, getting on base, or hitting a home run. So there's three different outcomes each time uh, at bat. So three times three. So five at bats. is three to the fifth. So that should be 81 times three, uh, 243. Let me just check it on the calculator here, three to the fifth is 243. A bag contains tickets, number zero to nine. One at a time, you pick four tickets without returning the tickets to the bag. So create a, to create a password, you write down each number in the order pick. So the first time you draw from the bag, there's 10 numbers and then uh, nine numbers, then eight, then seven. So it's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, which is uh, 90 times 56. So 90 times 56, 5,040. And then a jewelry store sells gold and platinum rings. Each ring is available in five styles and is fitted with one of seven gemstones. So, so five. Times seven Oops. Well there's two styles. Gold and platinum. I mean there's two metals, gold and platinum, five styles and seven stones. We want to multiply two times five times seven. And you get uh, 10 times 7, which is 70.
the chess club must decide when and where to meet for practice. The possible days are Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So that's three day days. And then there's three times, three, four, or five, and six classrooms. So multiplying all those together, nine times six, 54. The sandwich shop has three types of sandwiches, ham, turkey, and chicken. So the meat, there's three types of meat. And then two types of bread. And then uh, five different toppings. So multiply those together. Three times two is six times five is 30. Five books need to be placed on a shelf. You randomly arrange the books on the shelf from left to right. So you have five books and then there would be only four left and three and two and one. So 20 times six is 120. Uh, padlock combination is five digits long. So if the numbers can be repeated, uh, it doesn't tell you what the numbers are, but I guess it's a, uh, one of those spin locks where it's zero, zero to nine, like a bicycle lock. So we'll just th assume it's that. So you could have zero through nine in the first place, and then zero through nine again, and then the third time, fourth time, one, two, three, four, five. So it's a one with five zeros. And you get 100,000. So that's uh, some examples of counting principle. I'll insert this before uh, a week five uh, check for understanding part one. So week five part one check for understanding is about the counting principle.